Spanish conquest of the Chibchan nations refers to the conquest by the Spanish monarchy of the Chibcha language speaking nations, mainly the Musca and Tirona that inhabited present day Colombia, beginning the Spanish colonization of the Americas. Pre Columbian The first inhabitants of Colombia were migrating members of the Mesoamericans who established themselves in the area c. 1200 BC followed by two other waves c. 500 BC and a third one between 400 and 300 BC. Later on the group of Arawak coming from southern South America made presence in the area, and a third wave of migrating groups, the Warring Caribs established in the lower lands and pushed the Mesoamericans to the mountains. The southern areas of present-day Colombia were also part of the Inca Empire. There were two main tribes that were socially and economically developed at the time of the Spanish arrival, the Musca, and the Tirona. Both were within the Chibchan nations. By the 16th century, the Chibchas, were divided into two main groups, the Musca, located in the plateaus of Cundinamarca and Boyaca, and the Tirona, who settled along the northern spur of the Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta in present-day Magdalena, Cesar and La Guajira departments. <laughs> <laughs> Spanish conquest The territory was discovered by Spanish explorer Alonso de Ojeda in 1499, though he never landed. A short time later, Juan de la Cosa, another Spanish explorer, landed on what is today called Cabo de la Vila Cape of Sales in the Guajira Peninsula, in 1502, on another coast of present-day Colombia, near the Gulf of Araba, Spanish explorers led by Vasco Núñez de Balboa explored and conquered the area near the Atrato River. There they founded Santa Maria la Antigua del Darien, c. 1509, and the now vanished town of San Sebastián de Araba, c. 1508 to 1510. The first two European settlements on the mainland of the Americas. On July 29, 1525, the city of Santa Marta was founded in the northern coast of Colombia by the Spanish conqueror Rodrigo de Bastidas. In April 1536 the Spanish conquistador Gonzalo Jiménez de Quesada led the main expedition into the heart of the Andes, where the Musca Confederation was located, with around 800 Spanish soldiers and 85 horses. Around the settlements of Suezca and Nemocan the de Quesada expedition faced the first attempt of Musca active resistance in March 1537. The Musca Zipa Tisquesusa made a failed effort to oust the invaders who then gave the first demonstration of their military superiority. In April of the same year, de Quesada, was continuously attacked by Tisquesus's subjects on the Bogotá savanna, but managed to take advantage of rivalries among various indigenous chiefs to go weakening the power of the Zipa of Bacada. The caciques of Chia and Suba were among the first to submit and collaborate with the Spanish, while men of Tisquesusa suffered defeat after defeat and failed to oppose the Spanish, who had horses, dogs and fireweapons, rather than primitive wooden weapons, spears, clubs and darts thrown with shuttles. Tisquesusa continued to harass and attack the Spanish, but in some obscure skirmish, late 1537, he died, without the Spanish know immediately and without knowing anything of his treasure. Tisquesusa's successor, his nephew Sagipa, also described as Sequesazipa, submitted soon to the conquistadors. Soon the relations between the Spanish and Sagipa deteriorated. Those eager to locate the lost treasure of the Zipa apprehended Sagipa and subjected to trial, accusing him of rebellion against the Spaniards and refusing to reveal the site where the fabulous treasure was hidden. Tundama was another cacique who had appeared ready to fight. This bellicose leader called his subjects and requested the assistance of neighboring caciques from Sarinza, so when Hernán Pérez de Quesada, brother of Gonzalo, came, he found the most ordered troops and more martial aspect to hear they had been among Musca, formed by steps in different bodies, all festooned with feathers of different colors. In this battle, called the Battle of Bonza, indigenous forces formed a desperate resistance. Hernán de Quesada was in danger of losing his life by falling from his horse in the midst of enemies, but at last, broke the indigenous people and trampled them by horses, staining the marshes of Bonza with indigenous blood. Finally on August 6, 1538 the city of Bogotá named originally Santa Fe de Bogotá was founded on the remains of the original southern Musca capital Bacada. Topic. New Spain. Northernmost Chibcha <laughs> 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 
Topic: Peck. The Peck are an indigenous people in northeastern Honduras, previously known as the Paya. As of early 2005 their population had been reduced to 3,800. The Peck language is a member of the Chibchan family of languages, and, although it is still spoken by older people, it is in danger of extinction in the relatively near future. Social complexity began among the Peck or probable Peck speakers as long ago as 300 CE. The earlier Peck cultures may have developed independently of the Maya, their near neighbors, or they may have been influenced by Maya, a hypothesis that has been corroborated to some extent by the discovery of Mayan loan words in the Peck language. In archaeological reckoning, the Peck formed a number of chiefdoms, some of which left archaeological remains of some sophistication, and certainly by the time of the Spanish exploration of the region in the early 16th century, the coastal regions were dominated by substantial chiefdoms. Spanish records of the mid-16th and early 17th centuries refer to a paramount chiefdom called Tegusgalpa which dominated the region. Spanish attempts to conquer it in the 16th century were unsuccessful. The Peck suffered heavily from the emergence of the Mosquito in the 17th century and their alliance with outsiders, especially British traders, and with the runaway slaves who made up the Mosquitoes Zambos. The aggressive raids of the Mosquito were in large manner responsible for the gradual withdrawal of the Peck into the mountainous regions and away from the coast. Vodic Rama The Rama are descendants of a combination of indigenous communities that occupied the Caribbean coast of Nicaragua at the time of European contact. Following Spanish colonization of the region, British pirates formed an alliance with the Mosquito in order to wield indirect control of the Caribbean coast. The Mosquito assisted the British in pillaging Spanish ships and resisting Spanish control of the region in exchange for guns and other resources that allowed them to exert control over other indigenous groups like the Rama. According to Rama oral tradition, the Mosquito gifted the island of Rama K to them in the 18th century in recognition of their help in fighting the Taribe people of Costa Rica. Throughout the 19th and 20th centuries, the indigenous peoples of the Caribbean coast came to rely upon private investment and enterprises for socio economic stability. In adherence to socialist policies, the Sandinista dominated Nicaraguan government in the 1980s sought to nationalize all private institutions, which resulted in a reduction of private investment on the Caribbean coast. Many indigenous groups resented the government for its interference in the indigenous economy and regional autonomy. The Rama were one of many indigenous groups to join the Contras, a group of anti communist guerrillas, some of whom were backed by the CIA, dedicated to fighting the Sandinista regime. As a result of the Nicaraguan Revolution, many Rama were displaced from their homes and traditional lands. Guatuso Boruca The Boruca are a tribe of southern Pacific Costa Rica, close to the Panama border. The tribe is a composite group, made up of the group that identified as Boruca before the Spanish colonization, as well as many neighbors and former enemies, including the Koto people, Tarukaka, Boracac, Cuepos, and the Abubes. The population of the tribe numbers around 2,000, most of whom live on the Reserva Boruca or the neighboring indigenous reserve of Reserva Rey Curry. The Reserva Boruca Taraba was among the first indigenous reserves established in Costa Rica in 1956. The lands currently on the reservations were named Baldios common lands by the General Law of Common Lands, passed by the national government in 1939, making them the inalienable and exclusive property of the indigenous people. The subsequent law of the Institute of Lands and Colonization ITCO, passed in 1961, transferred the Baldios to state ownership. Law No. 7316, the Indigenous Law of Costa Rica, passed in 1977, laid out the fundamental rights of the indigenous peoples. This law defined, indigenous, established that the reserves would be self-governing, and set limitations on land use within the reserves. Talamanca <laughs> Cabecar 
The Cabecar are an indigenous group of the remote Talamanca region of eastern Costa Rica. They speak Cabecar, a language belonging to the Chibchan language family of the Istmo Colombian area of Lower Central America and northwestern Colombia. According to census data from the National Institute of Statistics and Census of Costa Rica Instituto Nacional de Estadística y Censos, INEC, the Cabecar are the largest indigenous group in Costa Rica with a population of nearly 17,000. The extensive geographic distribution of the Chibchan language family has sparked debate among scholars regarding the origin and diffusion of Chibchan languages. Two conceptual models have emerged to describe possible scenarios, the theory of North Migration and the Centrifugal Expansion Theory. The former postulates Colombia as the historical epicenter from which Chibchan linguistic groups migrated northwestward into present-day Panama, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, and Honduras. However, anthropological and archaeological evidence see Cook and Rainier 1992, Fonseca and Cook 1993, Fonseca 1994, combined with glottochronological studies see Constantla 1981, 1985, 1989, 1991, 1995, prefer the centrifugal expansion theory suggesting that Chibchan-speaking groups developed in situ over a long period of time from an origin at the Talamanca mountain range of present-day Costa Rica and Panama. From there, Chibchan linguistic groups migrated and settled as far north as eastern Honduras and as far south as Colombia. Bribri The Bribri were the autochthonous people of the Talamanca region, living in the mountains and Caribbean coastal areas of Costa Rica and northern Panama. The majority live with running water and a scarce amount of electricity, growing cacao, bananas, and plantain to sell as well as beans, rice, corn, and a variety of produce for their own consumption. Studies have shown that as a symbol of wealth and prosperity, many bribri are isolated and have their own language. This has allowed them to maintain their indigenous culture, although it has also resulted in less access to education and health care. Although the group has the lowest income per capita in the country, they are able to raise much of their own produce, medicine, and housing materials, and earn cash to purchase what they can't grow themselves through tourism and by selling cacao, bananas, and plantains. Nassau The Nassau Taribe or Taraba or people have traditionally occupied the mountainous jungle regions of western Bocas del Toro where they continue to identify with the lands along the river that became known in the Spanish-speaking world as the Taribe or Tur D in Nassau, D means water and Jr as their mythical grandmother who was endowed by God with the secrets of botanical medicine Instituto de Estudios de las Tradiciones Sagradas de Abia Yala 2001-68. Until as recently as three or four generations ago the Nassau people led a remarkably autonomous existence. Dispersed among their clans and homesteads, and geographically isolated from most of the world, the Nassau developed and nurtured their cultural self-sufficiency through the idiom and the institution of the family. <laughs> New Granada Isolated Chibcha Dorask Waimi Nabe The Nabe or Guaymi people are an indigenous group living mainly within the Nabe Buglay Comarca in the western Panamanian provinces of Veraguas, Chiriqui, and Bocas del Toro. The Nabe also have five indigenous territories in southwestern Costa Rica, encompassing 23,600 hectares Coto Brus, Abrojos Montezuma, Conte Buritza, Altos de San Antonio, and Guaymi de Osa. There are approximately 200,000 to 250,000 speakers of Naber today. Guaymi is an outdated name derived from the bugler term for them, Guaymiri. 
Local newspapers and other media often alternatively spell the name Nabe as Ngobe or Ngobi because Spanish does not contain the sound represented by A, a low back rounded A, slightly higher than the English A in the word SA and Spanish speakers hear A as either an O or an A. Nabe means people in their native language Naber. A sizable number of Nabe have migrated to Costa Rica in search of work on the coffee fincas. Naber and Bugler are distinct languages in the Chibchan language family. They are mutually unintelligible. Topic: <inaudible> Bokota. The Bokota people, also called Bogota or Bugler, are an Amerindian ethnical group in Panama. They live in Bocas del Toro and north of Veraguas. Bokota Indians live in the same region as the Taribe or Naso Indians. As of 2000, there were 993 Bogota living in Panama. They are the smallest tribe in Panama and live in the west of the country. Arhuaco Chimila Tyrona Main explorers and conquistadors Rodrigo de Bastidas 1524 to 25 Juan de Céspedes 1524 to 29 1543 to 46 Ambrosius Ehinger 1529 to 33 Gonzalo Jiménez de Quesada Hernán Pérez de Quesada 800 more 1536 Pedro de Ursua 1545 to 61 The Tirona inhabit the northern and central parts of the isolated mountain range of the Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta The Tirona were divided into two groups the coastal Tirona by the Caribbean Sea and the mountain Tirona in higher altitude cloud forests of the Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta The lowland Tirona fished and produced salt which they traded for cotton cloth and blankets with the Andes civilization of the Musca the Guan and Chimila and other neighboring groups both Tyrona populations lived in numerous small and well-organized towns, connected by stone roads. Cancuamo Of the four indigenous groups living in the Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta, the Cancuamo are the least contacted and still retain their independency. Kogi. Arhuaco The Arhuacos live in the upper valleys of the Piedras River, San Sebastian River, Chichicua River, Araguani River, and Guadapuri River, in an indigenous territory in the Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta. Their traditional territory before the Spanish colonization, was larger than today's boundaries which exclude many of their sacred sites that they continue to visit today, to pay offerings. These lost territories are the lower parts by the steps of the mountains, lost to colonization and farming. Chimila Main explorers and conquistadors Ambrosius Ehinger Gonzalo Jiménez de Quesada, Hernán Pérez de Quesada, and others Chitterero Main explorers and conquistadors Ambrosius Ehinger Georg von Speyer Nikolaus Federman, Miguel Olguin y Figueroa Hernán Pérez de Quesada Juan Maldonado Pedro de Ursua 1545 to 61 Topic Cuna Colombian Topic Cuna Main explorers and conquistadors Columbus 1502 Alonso de Heredia Francisco Pizarro 1509 to 10 Vasco Núñez de Balboa, Francisco Pizarro, Pedro Arias de Villa 1513. Francisco Pizarro, Pascual de Andagoya, Diego de Almagro, Bartolomé Ruiz Topic. 
Topic: Nutabe. Main conquistadors Juan de Empudia 1535 to 41, Jorge Robledo 1535 to 46. Gaspar de Rodas 1539 to 81. The Nutabe traded with neighboring tribes for which they used a strategic bridge over the San Andreas River. Their society was organized into small hereditary chiefdoms, individually scattered and lacking any central power. However, faced with the Spanish conquest and against other situations overall incidents, these tribes used to work together in confederations. Mainly a peaceful group, when the Spanish conquistadors arrived, they defended their territories when the Spanish arrived, the leadership of the tribe was exercised by a cacique named Guarcama. Topic. Motilon Main conquistador Ambrosius Ehinger Georg von Speyer Nikolaus Fetterman, Miguel Olguin y Figueroa Ewa Main conquistadors Nicolaus Fetterman, Miguel Olguin y Figueroa <laughs> Lache Main conquistadors Nicolaus Fetterman, Miguel Olguin y Figueroa <laughs> Hernán Pérez de Quesada <laughs> Soldier Lázaro Fonti Guan Main conquistador Martín Galeano Musca In the centuries before the Spanish conquest of the Musca in 1537, the Altiplano Cundiboyacens, high plateau of the eastern ranges of the Colombian Andes, was inhabited by the Musca people. They were an advanced civilization of mainly farmers and traders. The Musca did not construct stone architecture, as the Maya, Aztec, and Inca did. Their houses, temples, and shrines were built with wood and clay. They were called salt people because of their extraction of halite from various salt mines on the Altiplano, predominantly in Zipaquira, Nemocon, and Tausa. The Musca were polytheistic, and their religion and mythology was closely connected with the natural area they were inhabiting. They had a thorough understanding of astronomical parameters and developed a complex luni solar calendar, the Musca calendar. According to the calendar they had specific times for sowing, harvest and the organization of festivals where they sang, danced and played music and drank their national drink chicha in great quantities. The most respected members of the community were mummified and the mummies were not buried, yet displayed in their temples, in natural locations such as caves and even carried on their backs during warfare to impress their enemies. Their art is the most famous remnant of their culture, as living spaces, temples and other existing structures have been destroyed by the Spanish who colonized the Musca territories. A primary example of their fine goldworking is the Musca raft, together with more objects made of gold, tumbaga, ceramics and cotton displayed in the Museo del Oro in Bogotá, the ancient capital of the southern Musca. The Musca were a predominantly agricultural society with small-scale farmfields, part of more extensive terrains. To diversify their diet, they traded mantles, gold, emeralds and salt for fruits, vegetables, coca, yopo and cotton cultivated in lower altitude warmer terrains populated by their neighbors, the Muzo, Panche, Yarigui, Guan, Guayup, Achagua, Tegua, Lache, Sudagayo and Uwa. Trade of products grown farther away happened with the Kalima, Pijao and Caribbean coastal communities around the Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta. The people used a decimal counting system and counted with their fingers. Their system went from 1 to 10 and for higher numerations they used the prefix quihicha or kicha, which means foot, in their Chibcha language Mycecuban. 11 became thus, foot 1, 12, foot 2, etc. As in the other pre-Columbian civilizations, the number 20 was special. It was the total number of all body extremities, fingers and toes. The Musca used two forms to express 20. Foot 10. Quihicha yubchihitsa or their exclusive word geta, derived from gyu, which means house. Numbers between 20 and 30 were counted geta asaki ata. 20 plus 1. 21. Geta asaki yubchihitsa. 20 plus 10. 
30. Larger numbers were counted as multiples of 20, gu bosa, 20 times 2, 40, gu hiska, 20 times 5, 100. The Musca script consisted of hieroglyphs, only used for numerals. The conquest of the Musca was the heaviest of all four Spanish expeditions to the great civilizations of the Americas. More than 80% of the soldiers and horses that started the journey of a year to the northern Musca Confederation didn't make it. Various settlements were founded by the Spanish between 1537 and 1539. Sudagayo The Sudagayo are the Chibcha speaking indigenous people from the region of Fusagasuga, Bogota Savannah, Cundinamarca, Colombia. Knowledge about the Sudagayo has been provided by scholar Lucas Fernandez de Pedrajita. Before the Spanish conquest, the Sudagayo were in conflict with the Musca to the northeast. Zipa Saguamanchica conquered the Sudagayo around 1470 when the cacique of the Sudagayo lost the Battle of Pasca. Conquistador Juan de Céspedes, under command of Gonzalo Jiménez de Quesada, submitted the Sudagayo to the new rule of the new Kingdom of Granada. The Sudagayo inhabited the region until a new town was founded by Bernardino Albornoz between 5 and the 13th of February in 1592. During the visit of Miguel de Ibarra there were 759 indigenous people residing in Fusagasuga. When Arostiki arrived in February 1760, the indigenous population had dwindled to 85, and there were 644 new settlers divided among 109 families. See also List of conquistadors in Colombia Comparison Chibcha words Spanish conquest of the Musca Spanish conquest of Honduras Hernán de Quesada, Juan de Céspedes Gonzalo de Quesada, Sebastián de Balalcazar, New Kingdom of Granada non Chibcha neighbors Muzo, Zenu Lachey, Ponche, Paez, Pijau, Quimbaya, Yarigui